everyone, welcome back to Tina's Test Kitchen. Today I'm in the kitchen making homemade macaroni and cheese. Man, does that sound good. Let's go over those list of ingredients. So for this, you're going to need an oven safe, safe baking dish, so I have that here. We're going to need 16 ounces of our pasta, and in this case, I'm gonna use elbow noodles. We need a half a cup of our panko breadcrumbs, one cup of our vegetable broth, four cups of milk, I have one cup of Monterey Jack cheese and two cups of cheddar cheese. We're going to be using a half a cup of our uh, whipping cream, three tablespoons of unsalted butter, and we have one teaspoon of our black pepper as well as paprika, and two teaspoons of our uh, kosher salt. So we're gonna add everything to our uh, baking dish. We're going to cover it. This is going to cook in the oven at 375 for about 40 to 45 minutes. Let's get started. Okay, so now it's time to go ahead and add all of our ingredients to our bowl. Again, we have our 16 ounces of pasta. That's going to go right here in the bottom. We're going to have our four cups of milk that I have right here. We also have our one cup of chicken broth that I'm going to go ahead and add. So here I have my spices, the salt, the paprika, as well as the uh, black pepper. So I'm going to go ahead and add that. We also have our half a cup of whipping cream. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and add that. There's our half a cup. We're going to go ahead and add our cheese next, which again is going to be the sharp cheddar cheese as well as the Monterey Jack cheese. We have two cups of the cheddar cheese and one cup of the Monterey Jack cheese. Just going to go ahead and finish adding that. I'm going to next add our butter, and again, that's going to be four tablespoons of butter. Okay, next I'm going to go ahead and give everything a quick stir to make sure that everything is well mixed. And again, you guys, I am going to cover this and bake it for about 45 to 50 minutes in the oven. When the mac and cheese is out of the oven we just have one final stage to do this you guys looks and smells amazing everything is all nicely cooked um, in order for us to get the little bit of brown on the top our final step is going to be to add our breadcrumb mixture to the very top and all this is this is our half a cup of our breadcrumbs with about a teaspoon of our butter and we're just going to sprinkle this across the top and we are going to put this in the oven on broil for about three to five minutes and then once it comes out we will obviously let it cool and then we will give it a taste all right back in the oven okay you guys i literally just took this out of the oven and i can still literally hear it boiling so let's take a look and see what that looks like you can see that it is all nice and brown this, you guys, smells amazing. Um, I am going to obviously let it cool for a while before we go ahead and taste it. So let's get this plated up. Okay, so we did go ahead and plate up a little bit of mac and cheese. I did go ahead and use my uh, salt and pepper for the finished part of the seasoning. Let's go ahead and give this a try because it smells amazing. 
Mm. Mm. This, you guys, is so, so good. Mm. I like the texture that the breadcrumbs mixed with the butter gives the top of it. Some of the noodles are a little crunchy, which I don't mind that. You can definitely taste the Monterey Jack cheese as well as the sharp cheddar cheese. This, you guys, is amazing. I'm not one for usually eating homemade mac and cheese. I'm not exactly sure why, but this, you guys, is definitely something that is really, really good. My husband is gonna love this. Okay, if you wanna continue to see home-cooked meals coming out of my kitchen, please do me a favor and hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel. Until next time, everyone, bye-bye.